What's up guys? So today we're looking at a new OTF, uh, my first Heretic Knives OTF. This is a brand new model. As you can see right there on the side, this is the Manicore X. Uh, this particular one is in stonewash finish with a double edge and this has the green uh, aluminum handles. You can see the exact model number on the side here. All right, actually while we're looking at it, here's the box. Heretic Knives. 100% made in the USA. All right, came with a nice bag, a little drawstring bag, of course in a plastic bag as well, and a little oxygen pack, and a card. Pretty cool business card. I like that, there's all the contact information, if you guys want to contact them direct. Pretty cool. So let's take a closer look here. You can see again, the writing is on the side, so it leaves a nice sterile look on the handle here. Tons of jimping, you know, all across the frame, all around, you know, foregrip. Um, I got this a few days ago. I've been playing with it since, but I only carried it today. Pocket clip does carry very nicely. You can see it's wider towards the top here. Um, it is a deep conceal carry, although the knife does have kind of an extension here, which is nice, it integrates a lanyard hole, which is pretty unique for an OTF. Usually don't see that, or at least not often. Um, and there is a glass breaker on there as well. All right, so you can see it has a uh, side mounted switch here, which is interesting because the uh, a lot of the other models I saw had kind of a front scale mounted switch, which is very unique and different. This is more of a classic OTF design. Uh, if we look a little bit closer here, you can see the stepping pattern. Actually, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see that because there's actually grooves that are cut into it, if you can see that. So we have the actual steps, but then everything has like micro grooves, all right? So it's one constant curvature here, all right? So it's very comfortable to push forward as well as pull back to retract. So, ooh, if I can figure out how to use my own camera, I've been using it for 10 years. So here's the uh, take up on this auto. If you guys are not familiar with OTFs, there's usually uh, a little bit of resistance before it actually pops. This one actually goes all the way up to the end. You can see the groove cut into the slot for that switch. So it goes all at the end. It's kind of like staging, you know, uh, let's say a trigger on a Glock or something. So you take up all the slack and at the very end, it pops. All right, very easy to both deploy as well as retract. All right, very little effort there. Works perfectly every single time. There is very minimal play on this. Of course, if you've never had an OTF, they all have a little bit of play, a little bit of side to side, a little bit up and down. There's just no way to make it completely solid. Uh, it's just name the game. But even the highest quality ones in the world, they all have a tiny bit of play. This one seems to be extra tight. Uh, in other words, there's less slop than even you know some of the nicer OTFs on the market. So this one happens to be a stonewash finish and this is also the uh, spear point so it is a double edge blade I have seen this in uh, two other versions they had a nice drop point with a real heavy swedge on it as well as they had a tanto version of this so I'm not sure if they're gonna have multiple you know blade styles available I would imagine there'd be some other options in the future as far as OTFs go I do love a double edge just because these are fun knives to me of course this is an extremely usable knife but I happen to live in Pennsylvania, where for some reason I can't legally carry this out and about. Therefore, I don't have to worry about you know other laws like having a double-edged blade. You know, this is a round-the-house type knife. As far as this one specifically, this got just some light use. It is ridiculously sharp. Blade steel on this is S35VN. It is marked on the bottom. Let me zoom in again so you can see that. So first off, we got the logo on top, and then CPM S35VN on the bottom. Now, even, this is, even though this is stonewashed, you can see like the grind marks on the blade, which is kind of interesting. Just a different finish. I've never seen anything quite like that. You know, sometimes you'll see the grind pattern, and, you know, depending on what kind of belts or what kind of uh, finishing process they're doing, but nothing quite like that. So it's a really, really light stonewash finish. All right, flip it over. Just really, really cool. I mean, the grinds are very even, does come to a ridiculous point. 
So it's extremely sharp, extremely pointy. So some uh, quick specs on here. Uh, closed is 5.5 inches. All right, the blade is 3.7 inches. It is uh, 0.125 inches thick, of course, because this is a spear point blade and it's ground on both sides. The thickest point would be the spine in the middle. Um, and uh, overall, it's 9.2 inches. It weighs 4.5 ounces, which uh, actually carries very nicely. It doesn't really seem heavy. You know, it's on par with a lot of different OTFs, so it doesn't doesn't come across as being extra light or extra heavy. It's just I thought it'd be more around like three ounces or so. So maybe it feels a little bit lighter than it is. Um, but it's really solid. Uh, when I got this, the blade was uh, off the track. I guess that's how they ship it so that there's no tension. So when you get these things, you wanna, if the blade is off the track, it's just kind of loose and the button's not working. You grab the tip and you pull out and you just pull it up, okay? And it'll lock in place and then you're able to, you know, open it and close it. Uh, obviously it is a dual action OTF, so the button or switch opens it as well as closes it. Really solid knife. I mean, all American made. Um, MSRP, I believe is $299, which is awesome. It's a very good price for what you're getting here. I mean, uh, being my first Heretic Knives, first representation of the company, I have to say I'm extremely impressed. Very impressed. Uh, the first thing I did in getting this, of course, would be to compare it to the gold standard which is a Microtech. This happens to be an executive Scarab. Um, and I wanted to just kind of compare it just because this has always been the go-to. Like I said, I call it the gold standard because among the knife community, there's a lot of love for Microtech. A lot of people do compare different automatic knives with them. They've been around a very long time. When I was growing up, I mean, they were the top of the top. Now there's tons of competition these days. Back in the 90s, there were just a couple companies that were making stuff like Microtech. But I've always loved them. I've always loved the company and it is a great standard for me because this was always an amazing OTF. Very, very high quality, right? So the first thing I do is I compare them. So in comparing these two, um, it might not be the best comparison as far as Microtech models. It just happens to be the one that I currently have. One thing I noticed is the, um, the switches or buttons a lot easier on the uh, Heretic as opposed to the Microtech, particularly in retracting. When I pull this back, it takes a lot of force, all right, to actually get that to retract. Whereas this is very easy. I can even do this lefty. I'm not even sure if I could do this lefty. So, yeah, well, it's a little bit of a stretch. All right? Although there's plenty of grip here. And again, in the stepping, they're both similar by first appearance, but on the Microtech, these are actually you know, ridge steps, whereas here they smooth everything out. So it's one continuous curve. So it is a little bit more comfortable. Um, something else I've noticed too, though, is the Microtech, when you do retract this and you open it, it's like there's no twang, all right? When you have a Microtech and you compare it to a lot of copies, some Chinese, you know, cheapo, internationally made automatic knives, because obviously it's one of the most copied, like the Lightning OTF is a copy of this. If you've ever seen that knife, that's what this is. That's what that is trying to be. This is the original, a scarab, you know, because some people might look at that and be like, oh yeah, it looks just like my Lightning. No, your Lightning OTF looks like this. Um, that's why it's heavily copied, very, very popular OTF. But that is super solid. This does have a little bit of a twang it's really not much and it's gonna be very hard to hear. So I'm gonna be really quiet for a second here. Just a little bit of a bling, you know, you can kind of feel it, you can kind of hear it. It's very, very subtle, okay? And it's far less than like, you know, the Chinese clones and copies and stuff. If you ever had those, those sound like you just, you know, hit one of those door stoppers. It's like bling, 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 bling. So uh, it's totally, totally different from a copy but it is something I noticed. So like this totally takes the win in comparison to an actual Microtech um, in the button and just the comfort of using it. Retraction on this one is just really stiff. Um, so yeah, more comfortable to use, but it does have that tiny bit of twang, which the Microtechs have not. I've never had a Microtech that had that like really audible or any kind of twang or vibration that was felt in the handle. Um, so it's just something I happen to notice as far as fit, finish, and quality, totally on par. You could have, this could have been the new Microtech and I probably wouldn't have known. If you put that logo on this knife, 
made up some name, it'd be like, oh, cool, it's a new Microtech. So they are on par, if not better, um, than Microtech just because of some of the features. Obviously, this one happens to have a glass breaker as well. Uh, this pocket clip does integrate a tiny little hole in the end for a lanyard, not quite as versatile as this large lanyard hole, but similar in a lot of different ways. Uh, I do like the deep concealed pocket clip compared to the traditional, you know, style pocket clip. But yeah, I mean, they're both awesome knives, but I did want to break this out to have a direct comparison to this for all the people who are used to the Microtex. So there's a little give and take there. I really think this has a better switch and it's more comfortable, easier to use than the Microtech. Um, but it kind of gets negated by the little bit of twang that it has. But yeah, I'm, I have to say I am extremely, overall extremely impressed with Heretic Knives just in this one knife alone. And it makes me much more interested in trying their other OTFs, older models, as well as, you know, seeing what they're going to come out with in the future. So overall, I love it. I think it's awesome. It's a really, really nice OTF for the money, all American made. Again, that's MSRP. They might be in and around that, might get a couple bucks off from the dealers. But uh, yeah, I mean, just very impressive. Very impressive for the first knife, for me anyway. Some of you guys out there already have some of their older models and you already love it. And I occasionally I'll see posts on Instagram and stuff, people talking about them. Uh, but I'm very excited to finally have gotten to try one. And, you know, it happens to be one of their latest models. I think this is their biggest model too. Uh, but yeah, very, very cool. So if you guys happen to have a heretic knife, let me know down in the comments what you have, what you think of it. If you are a Microtech fan or a fan of other, you know, companies making OTFs, um, you know, how do you think they compare? But personally, it is, is right there. It is on board, top of the charts as far as high quality production OTFs. So that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Take care.